Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Jam! Yes! Alright, we're back, we're back, we're back! The Jamathon is now officially over and it went so well! Oh my goodness! So I caught you guys up on all of the episodes that I pre-recorded in my overabundant excitement of being on Animal Jam. And we are now back up to brand new fresh episodes made the day that they go up. Hopefully that won't destroy the schedule, but that means that you will get absolutely fresh right out of the oven Animal Jam awesomeness! <laughs> and... It also means I'll be able to show off in real time my utter shock of how many jamograms we have. Oh my gosh. So I do actually still have a little bit of room left on the buddy list. I thought it was going to fill up. It went up from zero to about 80 people in less than 20, 30 minutes last time we released that special update video. So if you guys want to become buddies on Animal Jam, you need to make sure to throw me a buddy invite, like toss it to me. I have a hard time seeing all of the comments comments in the videos and being able to go from the video over to Animal Jam, send you guys some requests, and then usually when I get on, like, it gets totally jam-packed here. So basically, please send me the request and I will accept it as long as we have room. And I'm still figuring out what to do for our buddies if we are going to keep it so that we only, like, have our buddies, the buddy list becomes full and it's just over, there's no more room for buddies, or if I'll clear the buddy list occasionally, we'll have to see. But right now, there's still room if you too wish to become buddies with the adorable jackalope rainy moon and her beautiful little sunny peach oh i love this honeybee and then you guys have been telling me i'm super excited about this idea that you can actually if i take my little pet you can actually go ahead i don't want to free her and you can like put her down in the house like i could i could unequip her and that, like you have to have her equipped somebody said and then yeah like this and then you go ahead Wait, wait, wait. Do I have like a... <gasps> I have like a clone of her now? A little clone? I have two Miss, Miss Sunny Peaches. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so I want to get closer. I want to get quite a bit closer to her little honey beehive. And I want to put her down. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. <gasps> you guys, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I want to get as many pets as possible and sprinkle them all over my home. And I also actually want to get a new den because I was visiting a lot of your guys' dens and there's so many beautiful dens out there. So today we might try to go around and collect up some more gemstones. Thank you guys for reminding me that the difference is there's diamonds and then there's gemstones. So I thought I wasn't going to be able to get a rhinoceros, but we can get a rhinoceros. So we'll look into that too. And I would really love that because there is a lot of really fun stuff to know about rhinoceros so we'll probably talk about those guys in the future too that's going to be really exciting but for today we're going to actually start opening up the jamograms because they're a little bit overly full i'm a little bit intimidated by how many there are so we're going to start cracking these open and seeing what's hiding inside because a lot of you guys are like siri why do you never check your jamograms in the comments guys this build up just from one night like just from one night it filled up to 499 jamograms. So I'm gonna just take a peek. And we have buddy request and cards, and I'm just going to do my best. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I've accepted like as many of the buddy requests as I can. So we're just gonna go through. Yay, best friends, Animal Jam rocks. Aw, thank you so much, my friend. And then, oh my gosh, okay, so this is like how a lot of people have sent in buddy requests. So we may be filling up on our buddy request list like any second now. Aw, Twilight 6500, or I should say 6500. I'm so glad that you're finally playing AJ. Have a wonderful time. Yay, thank you, Twilight. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that bunny. <laughs> I am a bunny too. Miss Rainyman's a bunny, so that's so... <gasps> A bamboo patch! What is this awesomeness? What? Oh my gosh. Yes! Plants! Oh my gosh, no, no! I need my den to be locked for just a minute so I can do this in peace. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Thank you so much, Trilight! Oh my gosh, it's bamboo. I'm so excited. That's the other thing. I do want to go out, send Miss Rainy Moon out, and while we are learning about the world and educating ourselves about the natural world, because I cannot let go of the fact I'm supposed to be an educator on top of all of this. <gasps> I cannot wait to go collect things that I can give to you guys, too. So that is just, oh, that's so fun. Thank you so much, Twilight. And then, let's see. Oh, my gosh, look at that tail. So we're going to go down the list. Animal Jam rocks. Oh, thank you, Julie. And I'll just invite as many people as I can. Uh, <laughs> AKA the thing I want to give you as a pet. My den is a mushroom and my and buddy me. And here I hope you like. Oh, from Lizzie Bizzle. Oh, <gasps> Mushrooms! Oh my gosh, thank you, Lizzie! 
Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I didn't know that like you could send gifts to one another like this. And I didn't know that it could be so awesome or I wouldn't have been so shy because I, I mean, it's not the getting of stuff as much as it's looking around. Just like in my real house from the snail mail, the real mail that I get from you guys quite often. It's kind of the fun of looking around and being able to see how my life and my world and the physical appearance of everything has changed because of the amazing things you guys send in. So let's dig through here. I will be replying as I can. I'll try to send off some buddy requests as I can. Thank you so much. Uh, big fan, come to my den. And then we've got another friend request. Uh, mushroom. Yay. Thank you, Lizzie. I always wanted to meet you. Please buddy me and see my den. It's a mushroom. How fun would it be? And then this is from Bookie Chew. Oh my gosh, what is this? A rare glove? You guys, you don't have to send me things. I'm really, really, really flattered though. Oh my goodness. Is there a way I can like show these off? Oh look, it's just on her other little paw. It's so cute. Oh, and then I did pick up the rare AJ wristband yesterday because it was rare item Monday, which I now know about thanks to you guys. And so I went and I looked for the item and I found the wristband. So I got a couple of them, even though I don't have very much money. Cause I was like, well, maybe somebody might want one as a gift if they missed it. So I, that's what I snagged that for. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take me a while to go through some of this mail. We might not be able to do all of it right now. And let's see, buddy request. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a deer. I miss being a video, or me, I've read video. I miss being, having the opportunity to get a deer. I'll have to do that sometime. All right. Hi, I love your videos a lot and I hope you have fun in Animal Jam. Thank you, Shadow Moon. Thank you, Lizzie. And then let's see. And if you guys, I love your nature, but thank you. If you guys send me a buddy invite, I can buddy you, but I'm almost full up. I have a feeling we might fill up. Ooh, sapling, that's so cute. We might fill up before I'm done going through my mail, just to warn you guys. Uh, growing in our world, yay! And then yay! Oh, there's Bookie Chew, there we go. Uh, you're so possum. My dad and I love nature's and all nature and all things that are nature. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Keep calm and jam on. <laughs> oh goodness. And then, hi, I'm a fan. I hope you know I am arts, uh, artsy, true. Ag, please. Uh, oh, okay. And then let's see, pony lover. Oh, oh. And then there's something. What? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. That makes me want to get like a lion or something and play as a lion. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, pony lover. And is this, have I read it? Is there, is there something else I need to do? I want to make sure, because it keeps saying it's new. Is it, is it? There we go. I could just go down like this, actually. This is probably a little easier. Oh, gosh. Sun Whisker 7. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Thank you. It's like Christmas here. Oh, my goodness gracious. I really hope I can accept as many of the, the like, uh, wonderful messages and wonderful friend invites that I can or the buddy invites. Wow, I really like your videos. They're amazing. Accept this gift. Oh, <laughs> Pet Powers 101. <gasps> what? What? I feel like Miss Rainy Moon's little druidy powers or whatever she is as a little as a little forest bun bun just went through the roof. Look at this. Look at this. She's going to be just like decked out in everything. Oh my gosh. I love that. Now she has a scarf for when it gets cold. This is awesome. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely going to take me a little while to go back through here because there's hundreds of them. You guys can imagine it would be a little bit difficult for me to reply to every single one. Um, but that's what these little like mail videos are for. So we'll go through the mail for just a second longer and then we'll go do a little bit of exploring in the world and maybe play a game or two because I do want to see what we can do in terms of finding more things in Animal Jam. So let's see. And then this is from Western Shady. <gasps> a mushroom table! Oh my gosh, Western Shady. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, a Boston Fern. Oh my gosh, Western Shady. You're kidding me. Okay, we're gonna... Oh my gosh. Mass cane plants. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh! You guys, look at all of this! That's what I mean. It's just so exciting to see how my whole world, all my my entire my entire den, everything that I do, it's just changing so quickly because of you guys. And it just means the world to me to be able to see what you guys send. It's it's hard to explain. It's not so much about the getting of things as it is like, oh my gosh, this is all from Western Shady. Look at how amazingly kind this person is. Look at my house. My house is full of plants. <laughs> oh my god. I am so happy. I am so happy. That was so many things. You guys are just so amazing. Western Shady, eh? So let's see if I can like search for... How do you like Western Shady? 
because this is me learning how to do things. And they have their den locked, but this is what Dancing Clever Feet Western Shady looks like. Fascinating. So does this mean that somebody is a member when they've got this? <gasps> Look at the little birdos that they've got on his head. Oh my gosh. Can I send? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I just learned how to do that. I didn't know how to do that, but I guess that's how I can try to visit your guys' dens. Jeez, I'm excited. Well, we've barely even been able to touch the beginning of the mail, and then we have Shorty Boo here. <gasps> A Larkspur? Where is that from? Do the plants just, like, rotate? Oh my gosh, Larkspur. Thank you, Shorty Boo. Oh my goodness. And actually, can I go down and can you like... Oh, you can click on these things. That makes it so much easier. See, I'm totally learning. Slowly but surely, you just have to kind of like take a minute and learn. So I am able... Oh my gosh, there's another one. Yay, Animal Jam rocks. And then you can come over... And it looks like, do they have to be on or their dens have to be open? I'm not sure, but I want to be polite and try to like send friend invites now that I know how to do it. So that's really fun. Okay, sacred stone. Yay, thank you. My den is really honestly, it was nothing and now it's starting to turn into something awesome because of you guys. So we've just barely gotten through like the tiniest a little idiotic bit of my mail and we will continue to dig through the mail but I think it would be very important to go out and about and do a little bit of exploring because I do want to try to adventure through the world and I do want to try to educate you guys somewhat about the natural world while we go through things I really love the touch pool last time too but now I have a much better grasp oh hello oh Oh my gosh, that's so cute. But now I have a much better grasp of what you can actually do in Animal Jam. And I do plan on going on more adventures. And we'll just kind of run through. And to be honest, I am a little bit of a pack rat. I really am. I love collecting things. I love exploring. I love, hello person, gorgeous snowy wolf. I'm actually popping over right now to the, it was, I want to go to, not the forest. Is it Coral Canyons? I think it may be Coral Canyons I want to go to really quickly. Because I want to see that rare, that little like rare cave place. And I want to see if there's anything new being sold here. So I'm going to check the Cave of Epic Wonders and see if there's something new. But I am a little bit of a pack rat. So I love collecting things. That's actually something you may not know about Siri, but it's true. I love collecting things. And so I do want to get the, I have to say this. I have to say this at least once really loudly. I want to make it as educational as possible. Gosh darn it. So I'm going to try to intersperse as many educational opportunities to share stories with you guys and to be able to talk about hey rhinos rhinos are amazing did you know that their horns are made from keratin same stuff as your hair and nails there's nothing magical about them it's just a rare thing that grows on like the rhino's face and so people are hunting them into extinction for it that's sad but we'll have other like more fun things to talk about with rhinos like the way that the males will mark their territory through peeing the way that um a lot of creatures will but rhinos are really interesting because they'll, they'll have like this very defined line of territory a lot of big animals who are going to be territorial or even small animals who are going to be territorial will chase off anybody they see but rhinos can't see very well so they really rely on those scent lines and if you reach the end of one rhino male's scent line he'll stop chasing the other rhino because he's no longer interested because they're at the edge of his scent line versus with a lot of creatures if they can still see that rival they'll continue to chase it for a little while so i always thought that was interesting so we could talk about a lot of things that I'm just going to bring in from my knowledge and the research that I do because I love the natural world and share those things with you guys because we share this beautiful planet together and we share the animal jam planet together and it is our responsibility to take care of it no matter what anyone tells you it is your innate responsibility when you are alive on this planet to take good care of it so <gasps> <sighs> now I feel better and I can go back to being a very silly jack loop jumping around the place with my adorable little bee and we can see what's for sale here today. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this princess carriage. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And I kind of want to get the feast table so I can set up a feast and you guys can come and take pictures and share the pictures with me if you guys are hanging out at the den. Uh, when I'm not there, it's locked right now just so that I can get some stuff done. And I do need to get a new den too. So maybe I should just save up for that. But 10 days left on, oh my gosh, an ice garden? <gasps> yeah, so I let me know you guys, do items rotate a lot? Is that how this works? Like the items just rotate through and you pop in, you see what's sapphire birthstone yeah we're, i want that i really want that 
And I also want the birthstone display. <gasps> Look at the dessert table. <gasps> I don't remember there being a seasonal tree last time I came here. So how often do the items rotate through, you guys? I really want to know so that I can know when I need to show up and when I need to come over to buy things. Like, where are you guys getting all these plants? And I only saw, like, a couple plants at the little plant shop. And then anything... I don't think there's anything new here that I, I recognize. The firefly... What? Firefly necklace. Oh, gosh. It's really big. <laughs> And then here's my branch antlers. I want to get one of like every type so that I can change for the seasons. Turquoise necklace, sapphire ring. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at those diamond earrings. So yeah, we'll make it fun. We'll balance between the fun and the awesomeness of Animal Gem. And we will also balance between what I know about the natural world and my passion of sharing it with you guys. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and go to the arcade really quickly. And just play at least one game. Maybe one new game that I don't think I've really done yet. Phantom Jimble. That sounds kind of fun. Everybody keeps telling me to do the best dressed too. Super Sort, Wind Rider. Wow, there's a lot more games than I thought. Splash and... Oh my gosh, there's so many more games. Falling Phantoms, which I hear is a really great way to make the gyms. Hedgehog, Eat 'em Up, Best Dressed. So that's the one everybody keeps telling me to go to. But you know what? Eat 'em Up sounds really cute. I want to look at eat him up really quickly. Level one, eat. So I think we're this guy. Okay, what do I eat? Oh, I eat him. You're my food too. No, come back. I'm going to eat you. Sorry, it's a fish eat fish world. It truly is. It Get back over here. There you go. I'm going to eat you. Ah, I got eaten. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got a little over ambitious. My, my bark was, or my blub? I guess fish go blub blub, so my blub was bigger than my bite, and I got eaten. I love these kinds of games. There there was another game like this that used to be out when I was younger, and I played the heckadoodle out of it. So let me go grab this and this and this. Mine, 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 mine. Back off. My fish. My fish. Maybe I should let them swarm for a second. And then wait, and then ha ha ha! Eat the whole school! Except they move around a lot. Alright, come on, I need to grow. <gasps> There's a school of them! <laughs> I am I am a fierce predator. Look at me go. Rawr. Okay, I want to wait for a little school of them to show up again. I'm getting bigger. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Whoop, nope, nope. He's chasing me down now. It really truly is a fish eat fish world. Eh, eh, eh. Run after it. Run after it. Which actually reminds me of a funny story because my mom kept beta fish when she was younger. And back then, there wasn't really a lot of education about the beta fish. You would just walk in, walk out, kind of like you can still do at some shops uh, nowadays, and with their fish. And you would have no idea how to take good care of it. So she had two male beta fish housed together back before like people really told you, don't do that. They'll attack each other. They're very territorial. Hey, back to the territory thing. Uh -huh. And so she had her fish together and... Then her little sister, who was like maybe six at the time, came in and went, uh, oh no, the mean one ate the nice one. What should I do with it? With her two beta fish. And so my mom said, oh, that's so sad. I can't believe that, that meanie, or like meanie killed nicely. And my, my, my little aunt at like six years old was like, what should I do with it then? And my mom said, well, you should go ahead and flush it down the toilet. And she was like thinking, you know, the dead fish. Oh, I'm supposed to eat these guys now. That's right. The dead fish, it just happens. It's very sad. And you just have to let him go to the big, the big circle in the bathroom and move on. And so my little aunt, being six years old, left to do the solemn duty of burying the fish in the toilet. And she came back to my mom a little bit later. And she went to my mom. Okay, I've taken care of the mean one. Now what do I do with the dead one? And that is the story of what happens to my mom's beta fish when it was very, very young and it was very sad. But it did teach me at an early age when my mom told me that story that, yes, it is truly a fish eat fish world. This is actually very relaxing. I am a little bit... <gasps> Look how cute! I'm gonna eat all of them! <laughs> that was really... That was a little bit close for comfort, honestly. So we've got little puffer fish making my life a little trickier. All right. Oh, school of the fish I can eat! Yes! <laughs> All right. Oh, more of these guys. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, dodge that. All right. All right. Oh my gosh, look how many. Look how many. Look how many. Look how many. I want to eat all of them. 
Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Why is this so fun and relaxing? I have no idea. All right, we'll stop soon. We'll stop soon because this is clearly not a great way to make gems, even at this point. So we will be playing Best Dress. We will be going through more of the Jamograms next time. I will try to weed through most of them today uh, because, oh my goodness, there's so many. And I just cannot thank you guys enough. Already my den is looking so different just because of your, your amazing gifts and you don't have to send anything to me oh my goodness you don't please don't feel pressured don't think i won't give you attention if you don't just knowing that we're sharing these adventures together is the whole point i want to eat all those oh my gosh they're so cute no don't eat me pufferfish one day i may eat you well really they have actually got some pretty good self-defense uh when it comes to being eaten and then i'm gonna go ahead and take a little fishy back i'm gonna organize what's going on in my den and i will see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>